So, this video has been in the making, or at least the idea of making this video has been in my mind for years. And the main reason I didn't want to do it, because one, a, a YouTuber had made a video that I feel like is pretty much, you know, endowedly like the best video to make on this, which is Anatoly ben Bandele. Uh, I can't say his name to save my life for me, but he made a fantastic video talking about this. But I felt like I had to put my input because, you know, I have like this video that just went stupid viral and every day I get nothing but comments still stating that Qatar can blood bin without the full moon. And again, if you want a more like, you know, very like up like objective, no, no jokes, no gags, just, you know, a very informative video, please check out his video. But I got to give my two cents on this because I'm still getting comments and I'm still getting people saying that I'm not listening and that I'm just like I'm unable to change my opinion on the matter and you know I hate Katara. Okay, let's talk about the personal bias out of the way. Katara was bay for me growing up. You're like, the amount of people who tell me that I hate Katara and I have this personal bias against Katara is ridiculous because I have like a crush on this character, okay? I still love this character and like she's one of my top like top three favorite characters in The Last Airbender, okay? And every time I mention that Katara can't blood bend without the full moon. I get a, a lot of dislikes, and I'm, pro I'm probably gonna get people disliking this video just based on the title. Facts versus opinion. You're saying that I just have opinions and blah, blah, blah. Listen, so the whole the whole idea of blood bidding without the full moon came from Korra, right? So I, I wanna talk about this in the versus debate, right? Cause the, um, the video I mentioned already covered this in a big, a big nutshell, but I just wanna talk about this in the biggest like scape here. Why would Amon, um, his brother, and Yakon be such special characters in Korra? The whole idea of blood bidding without the full moon. If Korra, I mean, a Katara can blood bend without the full moon the entire time. Okay, just think about that. Now, it's established in Avatar that after she does blood bending, she never wants to do that thing ever again, right? And again, remind you, without Korra, without that series ever like coming by, because I know a lot of Avatar Last Airbender fans hate Korra. I see it trending on Twitter for the longest time. I get it, right? And like, I'm a fan of both. But if Korra never existed, it will always be known that Hama or like the first person who created bloodbending and Katara were like the only people who did it. And in that, in, in Avatar Last Airbender, you need the full moon of bloodbend. That would be the canon without Korra. Now, Korra brought in the idea that you can blood bend without the full moon. And like, like it's been stated, why would those characters be such a big deal if Katar can always do it? And granted, in character, she would she would never train to get better at that ability. After years of training, a waterbender could achieve blood bending without the full moon. So without training, how could Katara achieve this? Yokon, um, uh, Amon, and his brother all trained to get better to use it, right? Now here's the logic here. They say that, okay, well, Katara has the possibility of doing it, or she trained. Here's the ordeal. That is headcanon. I repeat, that is headcanon. If you don't have no facts, if you have no statements showing that Katara can do it, and here's the biggest ordeal here, because look, the video I talked about actually shows it. It's, it's, it's literally shown in that episode that everyone, everyone keeps bringing up where Katara gets revenge on the person that killed her mother. It's shown that there's a full moon in the, the scene, like trying to show that she's doing it with the full moon. There was indeed a full moon that night. In the previous scene, when Katara and Zuko take Appa, there are two very prominent shots showing a full moon. One is a tilt down shot, the other, a full backdrop. And look, granted, it could be an editing error if they don't show the full moon every single time. It's even stated in the video that the full moon, a full moon, can last more than just a day. It can last, it can last three days. It can last three days. But here's the thing: Are the author's intent in the Avatar: Last Airbender is showing that Katara waited to the full moon, uh, waited to the full moon to get her full revenge on a person that killed her mother, right? And she never uses blood being again. So even if you use Katara out of character, because in character, she would never use it. Because she'd even use it, if, if you're going by this logic that she can use blood bending without the full moon, she didn't even use it against Azula. When Azula like, had the upper hand with, with, um, with the, the comet power up and her fire ability, she was able to outsmart her because she wasn't thinking straight. 
why why would Katara like in um in Korra sit out and not really help if she can always do blood bidding without the full moon? If she would have helped out Korra and helped out the rest of the gang if she could just do it automatically. I'm not saying Katara can't resist blood bending because water benders have a natural advantage against blood benders when they can resist it. But again, if you could show me actual statements, a scene or feats, that's not just that one episode where it's an editing error and they forgot to leave in the full moon. Again, like I mind you, if Korra never existed, if Korra never existed, it would never been an idea that Katara can blood bend without the full moon. In Korra, they even introduced that concept and that was only special to Yakone and freaking Amon. And again, uh, and granted, your Aang fought Yakone, okay? If, if he, he was shocked by the idea that this person could blood bend without the full moon. His wife is Katara. Katara, <laughs> like you get what I'm saying? Like if he knew that Katara could always blood bend out the full moon, I grant you he would not be so surprised at Yakon just blood bending Toph and everyone in that courtroom like it's nothing and Aang, Aang is forced to use the Avatar state. Keep this visual hint, not to trick us, but to set up what is coming later. They establish through two shots that there is a full moon so the audience can later understand why Katara is able to do what she can do, especially when they established just a few episodes prior how bloodbending worked. What's more, looking into the lore of Avatar and into the next series, Legend of Korra, we come to understand that bloodbending without the full moon was a ludicrous notion well into Katara's prime. Okay? Please, I, I can admit when I'm wrong. Like again, people that's telling me that I have this problem where I can't admit that I'm wrong, you don't know my channel. I have literally uploaded Toss Strong's videos that got like like a 2,000 views and someone tells me, hey yo, I don't know, um, you you made an editing error or you or this ranking is completely wrong because of this. I've, I've re-uploaded an entire Top Strong's video that has thousands of views because I want to be accurate, okay? There's, I have no problems with Katara fans because I've like I said before, Katara is bay to me growing up, okay? I love the character. I just refuse just because a lot of people just grew up with Avatar Last Airbender, had to revisit that stuff since they was 10 and have this idea since somehow some way they didn't see the full moon enough that Katara can blood bend out the full moon without any statements or any factual evidence other than just an editing error and then literally in the next series it's confirmed that Katara cannot because she hasn't used that ability since that moment where she tried to take out the person that killed her uh killed her mother like, why would someone, even if you use a versus debate, right? If you use a versus debate and you have this idea that Katara can, you stated yourself that Katara in character would not use that ability, right? And even if you have this idea that somehow, some way that she always could, it's retcon in core, which they introduced the concept that Katara can't and Amon and Yukonin's brother are the special ones that can because they've been training that ability. That's all I got to say here. Again, if you want a more like in-depth video talking about that, I would definitely re uh, recommend the video that uh, Tony made. But if uh, like my video here is just telling you that I'm not going to be, you know, super nice about it. It's just pretty much that if you're if you have this whole whole idea that Katara has been secretly secretly been training her bloodbending or that she always has the possibility. The possibility is cool, but guess what? It's not the it's not the truth. Just because she has the possibility of doing it doesn't mean she's actually going to do it. And and you're just making up the idea that she's been training. That is completely wrong because you're also stating that she literally said she never wants to use that ability ever again. And they outlawed that ability. <laughs> like, why would you be trading an ability that you outlawed in the next series? Okay, that's my biggest opinion on that. Um, it's not even opinion. It's fact at this point. Um, again, if you can disprove me, let me know in the comment section down below. And, like, check out Tony's video. It's a big deal. And, again, if you like my opinion <laughs> and you like my personality, please like the video. Because I feel like it's going to get dislike bombed because some people, and I've noticed a lot, that they only rely on nostalgia and they don't like facts disproving their their childhood beliefs i don't want to be that person but it's been years that i made that video and i still get comments daily and i repeat daily saying that guitar can blood bend out the full moon because of one episode even though the author's intent in the last airbender is that blood bending needs the full moon only in Korra is introduced that you can do it without it and guitar was the one who outlawed it has never used it since okay that's it for me. Um, videos are going to be coming out um, either daily or literally the next day. I'm staying consistent with it. Love you guys. I appreciate your guys' opinion. And again, I can admit when I'm wrong, but I, I can really say I'm not wrong on this, okay? So, the job, peace. Love you all.